We're going to do some black robed witch Helena pulls and I just wanted to quickly mention that we can see here uh, that her shards are regular price. This is a whimsy shop. We can see Mont. He's got five shards for 500. Helena, 10 shards for 500. So she has the regular UR price. That's pretty neat. I didn't know that was happening. And she has a small rate to pull her on both the step up and on her own banner. So that's different from Mont. Mont has the increased cost, but on his very own banner, he had an increased pull rate. Helena is going to have a decreased rate. And that's what we can expect from 100 costs going forward is that their shards are not going to cost us double anymore, That, but they will be harder to pull. So. What it comes down to is what you're willing to spend and the limits that you put on yourself. Okay, looking at the banners here, she has uh, her own banner. Then we've got the nine step. There is a paid step up, but it's not a guarantee for her. And then, you know, we've got our new card, these EX ones. Now these EX banners, they're like, they're generally, I don't know, they're not the best value necessarily, except if you're really gunning for this unit and you don't have their shards at all and you're like, maybe you're new and you want to get someone to EX, then I mean, 2000 Vizior is how much 40 shards cost, plus you get the pull, plus you get the blossom. Like there's worse deals around. I don't think this is something that a lot of us are doing, but uh, the fact that it also has that rate on the, the Black Rose card, that's a very good card. It's a very important card. So we're going to do the nine step for her. Uh, I'm not going to chase her. Now with the lower drop rates, right? So the drop rate is uh, for her, it's 0 0.4. Um, with the lower drop rates, you can't be chasing forever like you can you're better off buying the shards at a certain point and then just hoping to get her in the future that's what most people should do or wait for a select ticket that's going to be able to select for her um, they're really gener generous with the shards and the select tickets that we get can buy her shards so with that uh, it just really means that um, you know you can't just spend all your vizior on this unknown of getting her or not you have to kind of just make that decision of where you're going to cap yourself off so we're going to do the we're going to do the nine step uh, and what this will get us is something Thing I need very much. Uh, it is one, two, three, four, five, six. Blossoms of Paradise. Really excited for those. Uh, and then Rainbow Broadstone shirt. Sure, whatever. Some other stuff. The Awakening Prisms. Those are starting to get a little, uh, you know, a little more scarce. And the Alchris statues. Those are nice. The branded tablets. Oh, I hope those tickets get updated from Ashery so I can get a Mace tablet. Uh, but either way, here we go. Let's get in there gonna do our our step up I actually didn't check if any of those steps were free I didn't pay enough attention well vision card is not what I wanted to see but if it goes all no it doesn't even go all the way okay look at this sad sad pull yeah okay Curry's card all right, little Leela, sure, was that? Let's keep going. Okay, what do I want? I actually don't know. I think I would want, love more Mask of Deceit. Of course, that's not what it is. Young Elda, though, Young Elda, that's going to be 100 cost fire unit someday, I'm sure. I think they do want to do a Young Elda unit. Okay, there's my Broadstone. My Consolation Prize. Okay. Step two, and do we get a free? Do we get free steps? Yeah, we do get free steps. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Just have a little bit of water. Ooh, gold book. Hmm. It's the shards. Look at that. Okay, well, we'll see if we get anything else good. Uh, just you know, for the sake of it. Oh, it's going fast. We get a raid up here for a little mask of deceit. Uh, you know what? I don't actually have the. Uh, the Typhoon card or whatever, the uh, the VC and the Esper, that would be kind of cool. And there are some shards. And this is a Awakening Prism. Okay, tickets. Can never have too many of those now, especially if you're getting ready for the selection quests. Okay, this is a free pull. Let's go ahead and get her on the free pull. Now, if I got her, would I stop? No, I wouldn't because... Might as well grab those shards, and again, I want the blossoms. Okay, this looks dire. Like <laughs> we're not we're not looking good here at all. But there's no pressure because I don't. I never intended to get her because I thought she was double, um, you know, hard to pull and double. Okay, never mind. Double price. Yeah, whatever. 
But after this, I gotta work on my Should You EX Shadow Links. She looks pretty interesting. I just made a big deal about how uh, Venera is the strongest unit and then they make Shadow Links even stronger and it makes sense because she gets 20% attack from her board and she gets another 25% attack from her master ability. That's a 45% boost uh, and then she gets EX attack. So that's pretty wacky. Okay, we got a, we got a rainbow here. So let's see, is this going to be Helena? And again, I really don't need anybody else. The only unit I don't own in the game is, uh, fittingly, it's Garvel. And then uh, otherwise, you know I'm working on people long term, but I'm pretty happy with what I got. Here we go. Okay. Oh. Don't have her max, so that's fine. That's that's not a, you know, that's great. I can get work towards getting another TMR. Miranda and Helena are super similar in pretty much every way, except for the ways that they're not similar. So, whatever that means. Okay, we get another unit. And all the way. So I guess Shadow Links probably doesn't have the protection for the, like that Venera has. So she's going down to non-evade, but like that's going to be so good in class match. Just knowing like you can navigate your way. Lorenzo, you can navigate your way over to like an enemy. Maybe they don't have a 100% hit attack. And Shadow Links is going to do some bonkers damage. Nice. Okay, a limb. I needed a limb. Uh, a limb is the creator of uh, FFBE, the other mobile game for for this universe, so I think it's the same Alim, right? Speaking, okay, here's another free poll. Speaking of FFBE, I've been playing a serious amount of FFBE. The, the uh, Full Metal Alchemist collab got me into it hard, and I am like, so I was playing it super hard in December and January. Then uh, I played it a little more casually, and then I went into full maintenance mode. I was just doing like, you know, doing your dailies, doing your raids, and all that, like finishing the event equipment and items and, and uh, units. And then now with the FMA, I'm playing like crazy, so uh, getting super into it. It's really fun seeing the similarities between Ward Visions and FFBE, not just like shared assets or equipment or, or whatever, uh, but also just like um, like ideas like imperils and, and breaks and stuff and how they try to implement it and think about like, oh, I wonder if they... Man, is that like my third Lorenzo? God. Well, I guess we got the Earth Selection Quest. I'll use him in that. <clears throat> Probably have a max by now. Okay, uh, we got a couple more steps to go. Looking forward, I don't have a lot going on. Like Dwayne, for sure, someone I want to EX. And, oh, here we go. Okay, you are, you are a unit. I want to uh, EX Mashery. I, want I wanted to EX Frederica, but I have to probably put that one on the back burner. Same thing with um, Ramada, just the, the blossoms are too hard to come by. Ramada looks great though. She gets a super long spear throw that dispels like haste and, and other buffs. Uh, and that looks pretty insane. I, I want to try that out, especially in live. Okay. <laughs> I have like, I got to 400 because she's in the shop, right? So I got to 400 uh, mind spheres for her and then I just keep pulling her. So I'm at like... I want to say like five, 500 to 600 Mashery Mind Spheres. So when Mashery EX2 comes out, I'm going to be set up. Okay, this is super exciting. I'm going to get my my Blossoms here. And then I'm also getting a Blossom from the Tower Shop tonight. Once I hit that reset button and finish the final stage, I'm going to get a Blossom there. Um, so I can actually, f I'm going to finish Ayaka. She's in progress. And then save for Mashery and Dwayne. Ooh, uh, Titus is somebody that I want to build. I think that he looks really cool. Okay. We can get a raid up. All is not lost. Woo! Okay. Ah, okay. Didn't get the mother, I got the son. And you know what? I do not have him maxed yet. He's very cool. I wish I, I wish I could have played him much earlier in the game. I know he's still useful now, but 
Okay, so we're gonna see a rainbow book, but it's going to be the shards. It's not even that. Okay, units. Yeah, okay, it's the shards. Okay, so we didn't get her. But that's okay. Um, that's quite alright. Because uh, when I eventually get her, I probably, maybe I'll look at like what kind of shards I can buy. I like her TMR a lot, so maybe I'll buy, I'll get to 600 shards, and then uh, I can take a look at doing something in, in the future, like going slow building to EX. There's no rush since I don't have her. She'll come to me eventually, and she'll be good eventually. She'll be good past eventually. She'll be good super far into the future um, because she has all the stuff that she needs to do that. Uh, so there she is. There's some other stuff in here too. Okay, let's go take a look at uh, the true victory here, which is the blossoms uh, that I will give to my favorite girl. So, uh, oh, I have to go claim them. Uh, but I'll be able to EX uh, awaken my Ayaka, and I think that's going to be super fun for YouTube videos to show her off. Okay, here we go. Do I need to buy shards for Ayaka? I don't know, but I can. Here we go, girl. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Uh, I'm gonna have to buy some shards for her. So, but I'm gonna get the enhancement. I'm really excited. Uh, Tower's been kind of fun. Like, for example, Howlet just like crushes floors because he has so much spirit penetration. Uh, and then he also has slash and magic, uh, just super high powered. And one thing with Howlet is, you know, you've used bells and he has no AP. And then uh, Ayaka's just giving him like, here's 10 AP, here's 10 AP, uh, and helps him get back into action. It's been kind of fun using her that way. Uh, so I'll get the I'll get the shards off off camera, I guess, and then kind of max her there. Uh, just just a quick look at like how everything's going. Oh, this is blue stacks five, so it's not, it is not sorted by anything. So let's go, um, uh, let's go by level descending. Okay, cool. So uh, Rain, I'm leaving at 115, and I know that his 120 skill is good, but he's working very well at 115. He loses about 700 HP. That's fine. And then otherwise, Fire Team, Fire Squad's looking real good. Uh, ice is very weak for me. I don't have a lot going on in ice that was painfully, uh, made painfully aware to me in tower. So uh, I'm actually thinking about getting that ice nightblade guy because uh, I love his, I think he's got a really cool TMR and I also uh, think that his kit is just solid. Um, so I'm definitely excited about him. Wind, uh, this is what it's looking like for wind. Nothing spectacular here except I'm just getting ready for the selection quest. Uh, Howlet, can't wait to see what he gets for EX job skills uh, eventually. Earth is uh, is doing better. I still have an EX Mont because I don't have the blossoms. Uh, but I'm looking real good for selection quests here. Uh, and then Mustadio, that's the, my first product of the barracks. Super pumped about him. Can't wait to use him in the future. Can't wait to see if he gets an EX. Uh, Winter Venera is so good that she doesn't even need her EX but she's gonna be incredible with it because she can still, like, she just, she doesn't get magic tanking stuff from her EX. That's her pugilist that gets uh, buffed up, so she gets more attacking, uh, but she can already do lots of damage right now. Lightning got a pretty big boost just finishing people. Like, look at here, uh, 9S is coming together, uh, doing things like working with Skahal a bunch, and then now we've got this girl right here whose name is Silma. Uh, water, definitely, you know, uh, just sitting. Another area that I want to expand in, I want to get Aerith probably at some point. Uh, light, definitely looking good. I finished Sakura recently, got her all her resonance up. Uh, lots of people ready for the light selection quest. Fina's EX looks pretty cool. Um, I was just so much so much fun using um, Thancred and Cecil and, and Ramza in the uh, end match too in the tower. I love doing that. And then Dark. <laughs> This is where it's really dire. So Dwayne, obviously Hallmark there. Uh, and then Ziza, she's she's there, but she's not EX or anything. Ryvu, uh, Shadow Links and, and Gafgarian are, are, you know, like 99 or, or on approaching adjacent, like Shadow Links is adjacent to 99. But I mean, I'm, I'm in pretty bad shape here in terms of uh, um, dark units. And it's definitely an area of weakness. I think that I need to, to plan to expand my ice and my dark uh, powers here. But uh, I mean, this is kind of turning into a little bit of a count show and tell. That's fine though, because I haven't, I haven't done one of these in a really long time. I also wanted to quickly mention um, my cards because I did end up doing that Encounters of Hero and I maxed it. And guess what? I'm using Solidus most of the time. Now, when I do use this card, it's pretty awesome. It's got a lot going for it. And in the future, it's just going to be fine. It's going to be good with lots of fire parties with more fire magic units. There's room for it. But uh, the 
Solidus. It just works for so many other units. For Luel, she can use this and get the benefit of the slash resist. Uh, and that's just too important. Uh, I just maxed this today, Blossoms in the Dark. Super excited to use it because this magic attack uh, man eater is going to be really good for Ramza. And I want to always find ways to use Ramza. Uh, and then I'm also just super excited to use this on Skahal. Uh, and also, it's just probably one of my favorite artworks in the entire game. So, uh, super pumped to have this maxed. Uh, and then otherwise, just lots of random stuff that I got shards for over, like, you know, that I've been maxing. Death Machine, very, very excited to uh, to max this so that I have a physical version of the 20 uh, area attack up because right now I've got the holiday party, but, you know, we can do better. Uh, and then otherwise, you know, Esper is, it's all the same. We get a ton of Magicite. We're maxing what we want. Actually, the one thing I do want to mention for Esper's. And by the way, I plus five pretty much anything that comes out, I work on it. I don't buy it in the shop every single time I thought to myself, I could buy this in the shop. Uh, I try to just do some farming, some melty, stuff like that. And it's easy for me. I'm a teacher. I'm doing a lot of marking. I'm marking like math assignments. And I've got my tablet right beside me and I'm just clicking it. Doing multis. Next, next, embark. Next, next, embark. Boom. Uh, and I plus five everything so easily. And then I guess if we think about all the things that I, I was like, oh, should I, should I buy this for 2K Viz? Uh, I've probably saved like 10k viz uh, not buying stuff so uh, it does add up when you're buying equipment you can buy it if you're busy if you're busy this week buy a cypress pole if you're not just farm it uh, if you can find a way to do that uh, the thing again oh geez blue stacks okay uh, the thing that I am uh, working on here is Ramu I three starred him the reason I did that uh, is because I wanted this accuracy, 22 accuracy. I'm really excited to put this on units like Skahal, uh, put this on units like Luel, uh, because they're gonna get a huge accuracy boost that they need to take out Evade, they don't have 100%. Well, Skahal does have 100% hit, but in the context that I'm using him, which is live PVP, uh, he doesn't have that because I'm using him in Time Mage. So with that said, uh, this is gonna be a really nice boost um, for him uh, for that. So super excited about this uh, as one of my three star espers. And I guess like otherwise, like for decisions like, oh, Odin or sorry, Odin for sure. No brainer. Bahamut, no brainer. Uh, Ifrit was my call, you know, for my fire. But then Golem, I think this is a really big one because the agility is so important. Uh, and then you just get so much. You can go into defense, into pierce resist and into Maneater, that's all really good stuff. Uh, and there's other ways you can go if you want. But uh, And then also my Phoenix project. Project Phoenix sounds like an in-development video game. I've got Strike Resist, Defense, and Water Resist for Mont, uh, but because there's so much Slash, I'm just using Demon Wall instead, uh, because this Demon Wall. This is something that a lot of you should look at for um, this current meta upcoming. You get 25% Slash Resist, Stop Resist is a nice little bonus, and then you can choose, uh, and then again, I should, um, like these Stop Resists, I don't think I could have got the light resist. You can tech into light resist, which is what I've done for the unit meta. Uh, but what I'll do now is I'll reset the board for this new map and the new units and I'll go into dark resist. So all of a sudden you've got units that maybe have no dark resist and you're giving them 15% reduction on dark attacks. Uh, and that's really good on, non, uh, on light units, but also on non light units. Um, and Helena can imperil that and other units can imperil that, but it's not gonna be as common you know, as like every match, every time. And, and even if they do, it all adds up, like it helps, right? Like it, it stops that imperil by 15. So uh, I think this is gonna be a really good tech for uh, the upcoming meta. Okay, I'm actually rambling at this point. I think we're gonna go back to the, the main screen. I've got Luel here, but you know what? We're gonna move, we're gonna switch her out uh, together. So let's do that. Let's go ahead, change home unit. Uh, and I, I was I was using Elda for a while, um, and I was I was actually using you know Balo for a while. I think we're gonna use Mustadio. I haven't had him in there for a while. He's pretty cool. Just maxed him recently. Very excited about that. So there we go. Uh, thanks so much for watching, you guys. Uh, hope your pulls were lucky. Uh, I mean, I know I didn't get her. That's fine. I'm not really that worried about it. Uh, but I hope that anyone that wanted her did get her. Uh, so let me know how it went in the comments. Or you could join me on Discord and you can send me uh, in a message in our Word Visions channel and say, hey, Missidia, I got like crazy pulls or whatever. And then we can chat about it too. So uh, we'll see you there and we'll see you next video.